Welcome back viewers. Today at Pointers Rest, we unveil the new purchase for the farm, being a 1960 Ford F100 pickup truck. Stay tuned. So this is a uh, more of a car type video and less of a moving to the country uh, topic based video. So what I'll do is I'll give you a quick tour of the new purchase which we picked up while we had delivered um, in the last week or so. And these F trucks, I've been looking for one for a long time. Um, I really like them. Uh, they are very well suited to where we're living up here. We've got some great um, driving roads, we've got mountains, we've got uh, waterside uh, scenery and we just wanted to be able to check out the area and do it in style. And we've got some great friends we've made down here who are also under their classic pickup trucks and we I guess wanted to be part of their club. So we're actually going to go on a cruise today so we'll have a quick tour of the vehicle and then our good friends Dwayne and Ronnie are about to arrive and we're going to go on a tour of the area so let's uh, have a quick tour of the car. So this is uh, what's called a step side. There were two different body styles with the American pickup trucks or utilities as we call them here in Australia. This is a step side, for obvious reasons, you've got the step. The other uh, style was called a style side or a, or a fleet side. The smoothie rims are not original, but they look great. And the paint works in great condition. It's definitely not a show car, but I wasn't after a show car. I was after something I can drive around and actually use. It's running a 302 cubic inch Ford Windsor V8. And the interior, as you can see, is quite original. Apart from the really bad 90s stereo but it's in great condition the first thing i did uh, when it arrived was i fitted seat belts um, the truck didn't have seat belts they didn't come out of the factory with seat belts back in 1960 so that was the first thing i've done i love how solid those doors are and even the bed, great condition. That wood is just beautiful. Quick look at the engine bay, it's very tight in here. Um, as I said, it's a 302 Windsor. It's fairly standard, it um, hasn't really been worked, but it's um, it does sound great. I will make a few modifications to it eventually, but at the moment it's reliable and it runs. Just a good good engine and it's uh, matched up to a C4 automatic transmission. And we've got Kirsten coming past on the quad. 
So that's just a quick tour. I won't bore you too much. Uh, what we'll do now is our friends are about to arrive and we'll hit the road and we'll film a little bit of it and you can uh, ride along with us on your screen. So let's get to it. I'm not sure if you can hear the steers are mooing. They heard the quad and they associate that with food and um, they think they're about to get fed. So they're gonna be disappointed. They'll have to wait till later on. All right, let's hit the road. What year is it? 55. 55. So what type of motor is that? Yeah, 350 that's in it. Just like cam and headers and stuff on it with a full barrel. T700 auto, which is a full speed auto behind it. It's so clean you could eat your dinner off. Yeah, it's not too bad. <laughs> yeah. And it's riding on airbags? Yeah. There we go just a quick video today uh with obviously the topic being the new vehicle since we moved up here we've been working so hard that we decided to spoil ourselves and take some time out and enjoy where we live because it really is beautiful around here and i just want to say a big shout out to Dwayne and ronnie um, with their beautiful 55 chev as you saw um who were i guess the inspiration for getting in, uh well first of all for us <laughs> investing in the truck and for getting uh getting us out today so thank you guys and if you may be considering getting yourself a classic vehicle um 
all I can say is if it's something you've always wanted to do, just do it. These things don't drop in value. Um, so as far as I can see it, they are an investment, they're an asset. And you're never really gonna lose on them, I guess depending on the vehicle you're looking at getting. So just do your research there. Anyway, so I'll leave it there. We do have some other things coming up. Um, as I said, we've been so busy around here lately. I haven't been doing a lot of filming. Now that the, the spring weather has come, the grass is just growing to the point where we're mowing it almost every week. So that's keeping us busy at the moment. So but we do have a couple of other things coming up. So as soon as I can get those videos out, I will. All right, thanks for watching. And again, if you like these videos, hit the like and subscribe button. See you next time.